All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and install the 8.4 DLP Analytics Engine Server. Uh, you should install this after you've got Forcepoint DLP fully installed on the Forcepoint Manager. And make sure you allocate the correct resources and utilize the correct uh, operating system as specified in the System Requirements Guides in the Forcepoint documentation online. With that said, we can go ahead and get started. We're going to first log into the server. You can see I've already set up this Linux server, given it a host name. I've also already placed the DLP Analytics installer onto the server uh, using WinSCP. So let me go ahead and log in here. And we're going to navigate to the temp directory. Oops. And ah, missed the directories the first time. I apologize for that. We're going to navigate into the analytic engine installer directory all right and you'll see in that directory that is the analytics engine installer so to run the installer you simply dot forward slash All right, we got a permissions denied error. That's no problem. That means we just need to change the permissions on the uh, file. So we'll do dot. We'll do a chmod plus x, and then analytics engine dot All right. So now let's go ahead and give this a try again. We're just going to go through the terms agreement here and we'll accept the license agreement. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing some packages and that's perfectly fine. Actually, the installer lists the exact packages that I'm missing. So I could simply use yum and install all those packages using the following command. So let me go ahead and give that a try. So let's go ahead and give that a try. If you go to our DLP installation guide, it also lists a single command that will allow you to install all, the, all of these packages at once. Uh, makes the whole process very simple. Once these are done installing, we're going to run the installer one more time, and it should execute at that time. Right. Go ahead and hit yes. And yes. Okay. All of the packages looks like they installed okay. Now let's go ahead and try to install the analytics engine one more time. We'll go through that agreement again real quick. Yes. Okay, it looks like now we need to configure the EPEL repository on this uh, CentOS 7 box. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I believe we should be able to run the command yum y install EPEL release. You 
it's probably best to do this before um, actually attempting the installation. I did not do that. I probably should have. And I want to refresh the repo real quick. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and uh, try installing free TDS one more time. And yes, that's okay. All right, so those are installed. Now, Let's go ahead and attempt to install the analytics engine. All right, so now we're in the configuration mode for the analytics engine. Let's go ahead and just follow the prompts and complete the config. So this should be one, two, one. Let's double check. Okay, this is the address to my Forcepoint manager where I installed DLP beforehand. Now I just need to enter a valid DLP administrator username. So I'll make that easy by using the admin username and password. Alright, looks like that setup is complete. Extremely simple. Now all we need to do is log into the Forcepoint manager. You'll notice that after you've set up the analytics engine, you'll now have uh, a few options on the dashboard that you didn't have before. Um, the cases screen as well as the top cases uh, trend graph. And then we'll go ahead and go down to deployment system modules and you'll see now that the DLP analytics engine is listed there and we'll go ahead and just do a deploy and that should complete the installation of the analytics engine within your environment. Now you'll have uh, easy user risk-based scoring that will give you complete visibility into your riskiest users that are exhibiting uh, risky behaviors with data in your environment. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.